Hi, this is Manos Brilakis, and this is case 144 for the Manual of Percutaneous Coronary Interventions. This is a case illustrating the importance of not pushing equipment hard. The patient presented with unstable angina and was found to have a positive stress test for anterior ischemia. He had a known chronic total occlusion of the circumflex that had been present for many years, and coronary angiography demonstrated a medial AD lesion as well as an intermediate lesion on the first diagonal branch. There were no significant lesions into the circumflex that was providing collaterals to the occluded obtuse marginal branch. So the plan was to perform a physiologic assessment of the diagonal lesion and then stand the LAD lesion based on the stress test. We used an EBU-375 guide catheter and workhorse wire in attempts to wire into the LAD. However, wire was actually challenging. We had a hard time advancing the wire into the LAD. The guide was um, subselectively engaging into the circumflex. So we were unable to advance the guide wire. And again, this is a soft guide wire. So we switched for a smaller guide catheter. This is an EBU-35, but still we had difficulty advancing the guide wire into the LAD. And then we changed further. Now this is an Icari guide catheter. And uh, now we still have difficulty. And actually the guide wire is... Um, going in a different plane and we have a hard time advancing it anywhere there's some staining now on the wall of the coronary artery this is now a suo 3 guide wire and we clearly do not have um, the ability to advance the guide wire at the same time the patient started having some st segment depression at chest discomfort so what is the next step and of course, the presumed cause here is that we have caused a dissection in the left main, causing compromise in the vessel, and we're in this category of not having a guide wire in the dissected vessel, which is very tenuous because if we cannot get a guide wire through and place a stent, that is a treatment for dissections, the patient might have to go for emergency bypass, especially this patient that has a known CTO of the circumflex. Fortunately, once this happened, we did not perform any more injections, but we were able to eventually advance the SUO or 3 guide wire through the iCari guide into the LAD. And then uh, we uh, took a stand that was placed across uh, the left main all the way protruding into the aorta. And when this happens, this uh, has to move very fast, so this happened within a minute. We were able to get the stand and um, we placed it with uh, post-dilatation with a 4.0 millimeter balloon. We actually tried to then perform osteal flush balloon inflation, but we could not deliver the balloon all the way into the stand. So now the patient is stabilized, but we still have to treat the middle AD lesion. We did the assessment of the diagonal that was not significant, and then uh, we were able to use the guide extension to advance a balloon to the mid LAD. We uh, perform balloon angioplasty and then place the stand, jailing the second diagonal branch. That provided a nice result in the LAD, but we did have some stenosis at the origin of the diagonal branch. We can also see a pseudo lesion in the diagonal, which is likely the result of a straightening of the vessel from the guide wire. So this is not of much concern. However, the question is whether the ostium of the diagonal is significant. Uh, we try to advance a second wire in the diagonal. And one important caveat to be aware of when using guide extensions is that uh, it can be difficult to advance the guide wires into the cylinder of the guide extension. And when trying to do so, the guide wire can actually can be deformed and damaged. But eventually, we're able to advance it. We performed balloon inflation in the diagonal, followed by kissing balloon inflation. And that provided a nice result into the diagonal branch with uh, a... DPR of 0 0.94, so no significant stenosis by coronary physiology. So in summary, here we have a patient in whom we had difficulties engaging the left main. Trying to advance a guide wire was challenging because the wire kept on entering into the circumflex that was totally occluded, and eventually that caused a dissection of the left main requiring emergent standing. We can see in the final picture that even though we do have a stand in the left main, we can still see the dissection plane, 
So it's important to limit the injections of contrast after a dissection has been caused. What is the treatment when this happens? The key question is whether we can advance a guide wire into the vessel. In this case, part of the problem was the radial axis that did not allow us to get a good coaxial guide engagement, but fortunately we were eventually able, using an Icari left guide and a SUO3 wire, to advance it into the LAD and then successfully stand the left main. So when there's left main dissections, injections of contrast should be stopped. If it's absolutely necessary to do an injection, it should be done with the guide completely disengaged from the ostium of the left main. Then, as long as a wire can be advanced into the left main LAD or circumflex, then a stand is placed, slightly protruding into the aorta, using intravascular ultrasound to confirm the placement and good stand expansion, and avoiding contrast injections. Sometimes, osteal flash balloon can help with flare the proximal portion of the stand and facilitate future re-engagement of the vessel with guide catheters. Thank you.